I have 24 desks in my classroom, and at the beginning of every year, I try to figure out how I want to group them. If every group needs the same number of desks, how many different arrangements can I make? Welcome to Anywhere Math, I'm Jeff Jacobson and today we're going to talk about prime factorization. Okay, how am I going to arrange those desks? So remember, I've got 24 total. Okay, And there's a lot of different options I have. Uh, first, I could put everybody together in one big group, right? I could have one group of 24. Now I probably wouldn't do that, but I could if I wanted. Uh, I could split them in half. I could do two groups of 12 each. I could do three groups of eight. So eight per group. That's not terrible. It's still pretty big. I could also do four groups of 6. 4 times 6 is 24. Um, what I just listed here are called factor pairs. Uh, if you notice, each one of these numbers are a factor of 24, right? 24 is divisible by 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. They're all factors, and we listed them in pairs. So if you were going to find, if you see a problem that's asking about factor pairs, that's what you do. You list them in pairs, and it's good to go in order. Always start with one. One's always a factor of every number, so start with one, and then go in that order. Notice I did one, and then two, three, four, and then I got to six. You can stop when it starts to repeat. But for us, for this problem, I have some other options. I could do four groups of six, but then I could also do the opposite of that. I could also do six groups of four. Okay. Instead of three groups of eight, I could do eight groups of only three deaths. Eight groups of three. Same thing here. Instead of just two big groups of 12 deaths, I could do 12 groups of only two people, basically uh, putting them in pairs. 12 groups of two, which are just people in pairs. Uh, and then finally, instead of one big group of 24, I could do 24 groups of just one person. So basically everyone is by themselves. So there really aren't any groups. 24 groups of one. Okay, so that's everybody by themselves. So the question was, how many different arrangements can I make? Uh, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the answer, I can make eight arrangements. I spell that right. Okay, let's try an example with uh, factor pairs. So example one, list the factor pairs of 56. Factor pairs, all you're looking for are factors, and we're writing them in pairs. Uh, remember, factors, you can think of, well, what numbers is 56 divisible by? Uh, what number goes into 56 evenly? That's, those are your factors. And like I said before, always start with one. One is always going to be a factor, and we're listing them as pairs. So one times what is 56? Well, one times 56 is 56. 56 is also a factor, right? Uh, and then just go in order. It's an even number, so two is going to work. Two is a factor. Uh, two and 28. Three is not. If you know your divisibility rules, uh, the sum of the digits is 11. That's not divisible by 3. So 3 doesn't work. How about 4? Four? 4 is a factor of 56. 4 into 56, it goes 14 times. 4 times 14 is 56. Uh, 5 doesn't work because this last digit doesn't end in a 5 or a 0. Uh, 6 doesn't work because we needed a 3 as a factor. Uh, if 6 was going to work. 
Uh, 7, hopefully you know 7 times 8 is 56. So 7 and 8 is another factor pair. Uh, and then we're done. Once you get to a number that you've already got, 9, no, nothing else, right? So these are our factor pairs. Now try some on your own. All right, let's look at example two. It says, write the prime factorization of 48. Well, first, let's talk about what that means, prime factorization. Prime factorization of a number is just uh, when you write a number written as the, whoops, as the product of its prime factors, okay? Prime factorization of a number is just a number written as the product of its prime factors. You can look, if you remember prime, prime numbers are those that are only divisible by one in itself. Uh, and factorization, you're listing the factors, the prime factors. So that's, if you just remember that, look at the, the word, you can hopefully remember what you need to do. So basically what we need to do is list the factors until we get all prime numbers. That's basically what we do. So let's try it. And again, if you think you know how to do it on your own, go for it. Uh, so first, when you're starting out, uh, a good way to do it is use a factor tree. Uh, and it basically, we just start writing factors and it looks kind of like a tree. Um, there's lots of ways we could start. Uh, we could start with 2 and 24. We could start with uh, 6 and 8. Uh, we could do 4 and 12. It doesn't really matter how you start. It's up to you. If you have an even number, a lot of people like to start with 2. You know 2 is a factor. Okay. And 2 times uh, 24. So there's our factor pair, just like what we did before, 2 times 24. Well, 2 is a prime number. So that's done. We're not going to factor that anymore. You really can unless you just do 2 and 1, but that's not going to help anything. So we're done with that. So now 24 isn't prime. It's composite. It still has other factors besides 1 in itself. So we're going to keep going. Um, and it's even, so I can do 2 again. 2 times 12. 2 and 12 are both factors of uh, 24. And again, 2 is prime, so we're done with that. I'm going to circle it. Remember, we're just trying to find all the factors until we get to all prime factors. Uh, 12 is not prime. It's composite, so we're going to keep going. It's even, so I can do 2 again. 2 times 6. There's another 2 that's prime, so it's done. 6 is still composite, so we're not done with that. So finally, running out of room a little bit, 2 times 3 is 6. Those are two factors of 6. And 2 and 3 are both prime numbers, so I'm going to circle that. And now, once there's no more composite numbers, you're done. So my prime factorization of 48 is 2 times 2 times 2, 2 times 2 times 2. You're just following all the ones that you circled, times 2 times 3. That's the prime factorization of 48. Remember, it's the product of all its prime factors. Product meaning multiplication, right? Those are all the prime factors. Now, we can shorten this. Hopefully you remember, if we've got repeated multiplication, instead of 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, we can use exponents, if you remember a couple of videos ago. So we can write that as 2 to the 4th times 3. It's a little simpler. Either one is correct. This one is maybe just a little easier to read. Okay. So that is the prime factorization of 48. Here's some to try on your own. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe.